the football field, where grace and brutality are celebrated. When I was on the field, there was no one that was ever going to be tougher than I was. These days, Ryan Estep brings that mentality to a different arena. Ready? Spent. A gentleman sport. A high class sport. Underneath the bleachers of Central High School's football field is the Louisville Fencing Center. As inconspicuous as its location are its inhabitants. United States Olympians training under the tutelage of famed instructor Maestro Les Stawicki. Everyone can be a fencer if he is brave enough. Ryan Estep's bravery transcends sport. August 18th, uh, 2005, um, it was my grandmother's birthday. Driving home from football practice, Ryan's mom called asking him to pick up a gallon of milk. We're on this old country road, uh, so we took the long way so we'd run past the gas station and uh, my tire came off my truck and it pulled us into the ditch and uh, we, only, we only had enough momentum to flip one time. 1049. 192 radio. I ended up breaking uh, two vertebrae, ended up leaving me paralyzed from the waist down. Forced to forget gridiron glory. <laughs> During rehab, Ryan found fencing, wheelchair fencing. Oh no! Now, just two years after the accident, Allah. this Louisiana native has made a name for himself on the world stage. Everyone around the world in wheelchair fencing calls me redneck. <laughs> but his skill is world class. I am the current reigning national champion. I am number one in the United States and have been for about 13 months now. Yeah! It's his attitude. I need to have somebody to give me the opportunity to teach. And fortunately, Ryan gave me this opportunity. It is my job is easy. Up. Ah, yes. Coupled with a triumphant spirit, Ryan's outlook on life has him primed to achieve his golden goal at this summer's London Olympics. Of everything that comes your way, just accept the challenge to be courageous and go out and do it.